Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and in this video I'm going to show you how to generate a month and dates between start date and end date. So I have uploaded a similar kind of video where I have generated a list of dates between start date and end date. But one of my subscriber commented to do it on a monthly level. So in this video I'm going to do it on a monthly level. So let's move to Power BI. So here I have a table for accounts where I have uh, three accounts A, B and C and uh, the accounts are having start date and end date. So my goal will be to generate a list of dates between start date and end date on a monthly basis. So first of all let's uh, create a custom column and name it as date. So here at first I will create a list of dates between start date and end date. So let's open the curly braces and uh, then write number dot from start date dot dot number dot from end date close the curly braces and click on ok so here I have got the list for each row let's expand to new rows and change the data type to date so here i have generated a list of dates between uh, start date and end date if you see for uh, start date we have 2nd january 2022 and end date is 31st december 2022 so i have generated a list of dates which will have uh, all the dates between these two dates that is 2nd Jan, 3rd Jan, 4th Jan and we will go on till 31st of December. So now I want to generate a list of dates only for the end of the month or the start of the month. So for that what we will do is click on this date and uh, from this month we can do either start of month or end of month. Suppose you want to calculate the monthly intervals on the start of the month then you can choose start of month else you can choose the end of month here I will choose end of month. So this will create a new column having end of month from this date. So suppose we are having 2nd of January 2022 so the month end date will be 31st Jan 2022 and if we go here it's having 27th Feb 2022 so the month end date will be 28 Feb 2022 so it's returning the end of the month now I will create one more column and name it as condition here I will write if this date is equal to end of month then one else zero okay so if I choose only one from here and click on okay so here I will get only the month end dates from the list of dates so if you see I am getting only the month end dates that is 31st Jan 2022 28 Feb 2022 31st March 30 April 31st May and uh, it will go on like this go to choose columns and re you can remove this end of month and condition and click on ok so you have got the monthly intervals so that was it for this video if you like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you everyone